Hello everybody, I'm your friend in April. Let's play Splipes. Hello everybody, I'm your friend in April. Let's play Splipes. Hello everybody, I'm your friend in April. Let's play Spider Man. <sighs> Can I get through on this goddamn intro? Hello everybody, I'm your friend in April. Let's play Spider Man. I welcome you back to Dark Fear, as we left off. I defeated the Banshee, got myself, uh, well, entrance to the uh, cemetery. And in the meanwhile, I got myself the best uh, armor that I could get right now, and I have 1,820 health. I bought myself a new tattoo. Actually, I haven't. Hmm. I think I will take back the electricity one. You never know. Gotta be ready for things, you know. Okay, with that done, we don't need to be here anymore. So let's go back to the cemetery and actually go seek out what's behind the gate. What the Banshee... Why the Banshee was uh, guarding the gate. The huge rusty gates to Ravenmoor Cemetery tower above you. As the only cemetery in the entire valley, these grounds must be the final resting place of pretty much everyone who's lived here. Pretty much. Mr. Barlow's diary mentioned the witch's mother's grave. You can only assume it's somewhere here. Alright, yeah. But I still need to find a way of getting these guys from up here. Hmm. Like I said, I have the empty glass jar, but I can't reach up that high. So maybe the next step, uh, obvious step, would be to go to the cemetery and find out if I can find some help around here. A large grave sits by itself on top of a small hill. Although the grave is unmarked, you get the feeling it is of some importance given its size, position, and location compared to the other graves. You're certain this is the one mentioned in my Mr. Barlow's diary. Or maybe a Largo's uh, ancestor is in there. What do you think? She's very shy. So... There's nothing else here but the grave. Hmm. Anybody out here? There's nothing I can do because I don't have any items that I can light the uh, fire with. Uh... You already took some ice crystals you don't need anymore. Hmm. I thought I would use them again. It'd be best not to touch the flower bed until you've done what the Ice Queen asked you to do. You really don't want to anger her anymore. Hmm. I wonder if there's anybody I can talk to. Gunther only wants rest. Uh, does anybody have anything to say? Anybody have an item that I can use? Any item in here that I can find? Large fireplace, a few hundred years old. Nothing more of interest. So none of you guys will can help me. Maybe I have uh, missed something in here. I doubt it. Did I ever show the picture to Gunther, actually? It doesn't work. Well, Gunther doesn't work anyway. I'm a little puzzled. And that's just little. Really puzzled on what you need to do here in order. In order to get to the um, fireflies. Oh. I was wondering what that noise was then coming up from outside. It's a st street sweeper. Sweeping all the. Uh, all the sand from the winter times, you know, they put sand on the ice so people don't slip up all the time. Well, it happens all the time anyway. Well, confused, confuddled, curious. There must be something that I have missed. Because I cannot think of any other way. Maybe I missed something in here itself. 
I don't see anything. Can I use this? Does it work? Can I use this? Does it work? I actually need to lure the fireflies into the glass jar. Where can I find some sugar water? You already have some tart, there's no point in taking any more. Taking all the berries. Can I actually put the tar in there? No, cannot be combined. It was worth a shot. Maybe? Hmm. There's gotta be something. No need to be rejuvenated. Although, doesn't work. No, I don't want to be rejuvenated. Believe me. Uh, where could I find sweets? Sugary water. Gunter, any water in there that I can take? Doesn't work. Appears to be clean and well maintained as far as ponds go and not overwhelmed with mosquitoes or other parasites. Apparently there's nothing. I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck. Can't think of anything. There was nothing here. That's where I got the bug meat. And there's absolutely nothing here, just killing the monster on the tree was for an amulet piece. As far as I know, there's nothing here because I don't have any items to light the fire with. There's nothing else here? That I might have missed. The darkest secrets lie behind your own reflection. Yeah, that was behind the mirror, I know. Breaking my brain over this. And I know there aren't that many walkthroughs out there in the world for this game because this is quite a new game. Well, it's not really a new game because they did release this on as an uh, as a game app for iPhones and Androids until they decided to make it a full-fledged game on the PC. So... I need to take some blood? It was... Blood isn't sweet anyway. But it was an idea. Anything out here that could give a sweet fragrance, not that I remember. Still gonna look around. This is all I'm doing. Just looking around, hoping to find what I need. I had to look up a walkthrough, because I just couldn't think of anything. But, I was really close on what I needed to do. I need to use the vial on the honey. You carefully reach up to the beehive and squeeze a little of the sweet sugary honey out of the glass vial. Out into the glass vial. So that's what I needed to do. I needed to get the honey into the glass vial, not the glass jar. So, now that I have done that... Let's uh, give the honey to the fireflies. Okay. You pour some honey on the ground in order to attract the fireflies. You watch as the fireflies swarm towards the sweet sticky liquid. Well, the, they were in a hurry. Now we can capture them. Entomologist! You carefully pick up each firefly with your fingers and put them in the jar. That must have taken a long time. Lucky for you, these creatures are harmless and don't have stingers. 
that's what fireflies are. They're just luminescent uh, bugs. Just natural fluorescent bugs. So now that we have them, here you go. Fireflies. You hand over the jar of fireflies, hoping you've collected enough to satisfy her. She takes the jar from you and looks over the contents. For the first time ever, you see a faint smile grow, grow across her icy lips as she looks at, at you with comfort and kindness. Yes, these are the ones my surgeon wanted. This will be more than enough to produce the medication we so desperately need. Thank you for your service. As promised, I will grant you your freedom, and you may take whatever you need from the flower beds. Though I advise you to take heed and be careful in future. Not everyone will show you the same sympathy I have. Now go. You're free. Free! Free at last! Seeing as though you now have permission to pick flowers from the Ice Queen's flower bed, you lean over and take a closer look at all the ty different types being grown. Emlily, Beehard, Squilly, uh, Rearis, and Jalali. How many did she want of each? I can't remember. Why can't I ask you again? Oh no! Oh no! She wanted a certain amount of each of those. No, I can't remember. Shit. Well, I've wasted enough time already with all the, uh, with everything pretty much. The only thing I did on this video was uh, capture the fireflies. But next time, I'm just gonna have to look up an older video where she mentioned all of the uh, things that she wants, and I'll just collect them here. And we'll continue from that. And from what I saw about the walkthrough, I'm very close to the end here. But maybe next time it will be the finale. Who knows? But thank you for watching this uh, not so exciting video. And I hope you still enjoyed. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye. You don't need to wave this time. I can tell you're tired.